Horses with a history. Brands with a background. The Four Sixes Ranch presents... All right. Larry Gomez, winner of the All-American Derby. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> what? Now, you told me when we talked earlier that this horse was really coming to himself. Yes, sir. What did he show you today? Well, I'll tell you one thing. He was all, he was all red. He kind of threw me off in the gates, and then he kind of settled down after that. But when them gates opened, we heard that click, and i tell you one thing. He clicked with them gates, and he was rolling. I, I just couldn't believe that he was in front, but I did tell you, you know, I do talk to my horses, and I just asked for him to go a little faster. He did it. He did it. And I tell you one thing, we hit the stretch. I went left-handed. I got another gear, and I seen that horse on the inside. I was looking at the wire and the horse on the inside, and I tell you one thing, I said, I got this, and I posed it. I said, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Woo! What has been the key to the development of him from a state bred stakes winner up to the highest grade one level? I think just having trust and have that chemistry with him and just being close and you know what I talk to my horses like they're human beings like they're kids and I tell you one thing he responded today. What about the job Wes Giles did with him? Oh, that's a man. I tell you one thing right now he's my number one trainer and thank you Mr. Giles. I love you. And you know what? That's, he's a good trainer. He knows what he's doing. And the good thing about it is that we communicate a lot. And you know what? We just put things in together and, you know, let it happen. And it happens. All American Thank Derby winning trainer Wes Giles. How does that sound? You know, it feels really good. Uh, you know, you wait and you dream about it for a long time. And, you know, it just, everything come together today. We had we had lots of room, a clean break, and, and uh, you know, the Colt just run a huge race, you know. What's been the key to his development? Development from a, he's always been a nice horse, but but to this level, you know, maybe just maturing, just having time to mature. You know, we went, we got banged around every time in the finals last year, and the Colt never had a chance. And uh, you know, this year the breaks have been coming our way, and and the Colt's just had a chance out of the gates. And once this Colt gets a chance out of the gates, he's just got a big kick on the end, and he dang sure proved it today. You know. I guess these first moon flashes can run a little bit, huh? You know, they're you know last year they win the Fatari, this year they win the Derby, and and they're not you know they're possibly not done. So I mean, you, you what can you say? You know, the horse is you know doing his job, and and uh, you know we, we've been real pleased and real happy with the one we got. So what might be next for him down the road? You know, this colt was paid in the uh, Zia Derby and in Hobbs, and uh, you know. I guess we'll just see how how well he comes out of this and and uh, think about that. I I don't know. Maybe maybe he won't see any more races this year. I, I we'll just have to talk this over. We you know he he don't have to run anymore this year if he doesn't want to. So.